Well, I'm glad you're here this morning. It's another beautiful day, a beautiful Sabbath. I'm going to tell you a story. Have any of you ever lived on a farm? No. Have you ever been to a farm? Okay. You ever been around chickens? Yes. Chickens. Chickens can be a blessing and chickens can be a curse. Have you ever tried to collect eggs from a chicken? Sometimes they let you collect them and sometimes they don't. Right? So why do you think they're so protective over those eggs? Because that's their children, right? Well, Jesus gave the illustration that he wanted to do the same thing for his children in Israel that a mother hen does for chicks. That he wanted to gather them all together under his wings. His wings of protection, his wings of love. And how do you think Jesus actually does that? Any ideas? It's God. All right. That's a good answer. Listen. There was a... Actually, he didn't actually like, go over them. No. But he wanted to gather them together. He wanted to protect them. He wanted to show them his love, right? There was a farmer who had a bunch of chickens. And this one chicken just had babies. And so all the babies would go right after his mother. The mother would walk, little babies walk right behind him. The mother would go over here, little babies right behind him. The mother would go over here, little babies right behind him. One day there was a fire on the farm. And uh, after they got the fire out the next morning, he was looking for the mommy chicken and all the babies and couldn't find them. And over in the corner of where the chicken coop was, where the fire was, he saw what looked like a bunch of ashes. And he went over there. And he realized that was the mommy chicken. And they got caught in the fire. Okay. But he heard something under all those ashes. Okay. And he started to move all those things around. And underneath the ashes of the mommy was what? Jesus. The mother had gathered those chickens, those little babies. And she stayed there and covered them through that fire and protected them. And this is what Jesus said he wanted to do to his children in Israel. And this is what Jesus tells us he wants to do to us today. That when we get up there and we tell you how much Jesus loves you, you're going to hear that, you're going to hear that, you're going to hear that. But at some point, you have to go beyond hearing it to actually believing it and knowing that it's true. That no matter what's happening in your life, no matter what you're faced with, that God is always with you. And just like that mommy chicken pro protected all those little baby chicks, Jesus would do the same thing for you. Did Jesus give his life for you? Did he show and prove to you his love? Right? So, do you think he's somebody you can trust? A little bit, or with everything? So what you find with you as kids, it's easy for you to say everything, and you mean it. But when you start to grow up and you get outraged, it's harder and harder and harder to actually believe that everything part. But what God has called us for is to trust Him, to believe what His Word says, and to act on that belief. Meaning that I won't allow fear or pain or discouragement to keep me from doing the things that God has called me to do. And I won't allow those things to actually control me. But I allow the Spirit of God to control the fear, the discouragement, and anything else that happens. Does that make sense to you guys? So, as you go back to your seats, and as you sit here and listen for the rest of the service, what is that big word you guys use that means not for a boy? Say it loud. Platoonness. So, that's my word for today. Today, I hope I'm not platoon. What's the word? Platoonists. So, and I'll know when I look at you if you're like looking down and drawing over here. So I'm hoping to be able to keep your attention. All right? Go back to your seats. Mm -hmm.